This is going to be Micah with Blue Roots Media and Marketing, and today we're going to learn how to use the Reflection Tool in Adobe Illustrator. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on File, New. I should have a document preset or whatever, and we're going to, we're just going to learn how to do a um a heart. And so basically, as graphic designers, as when we have a heavy workload or whatever, we want to make sure that we get stuff done really, really, really fast, really quick. Um, and it's just pretty cool if we can just draw something halfway and then go ahead and let a tool go ahead and finish it the other way. Um, Illustrator has pretty much always had this tool um, and it's it'll save time a lot. Um, so basically, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to draw a simple heart like that. Actually, I like the charcoal um, pen for this. So we'll just go ahead and there we go. And then surprisingly, the tool is in one of the most weirdest places ever in the world. It's under the rotation tool, um, which for the life of me, I don't understand um, rotation. And R, if you want to get to this tool without clicking on the toolbar, um, just go ahead and press O. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I pointed out that if there is a particular tool and you want to work faster in Illustrator, there's shortcuts and stuff like that. And what Illustrator does is it shows you the different shortcuts. So like for the pen tool, um, pen tool here if you highlight over it pen tool parentheses p so when i click on the p it'll automatically get me there same thing for type type is t it'll get me there for all the sub tools you know add an anchor point is a plus delete an anchor point is a minus convert an anchor point is shift c and you're able to go ahead and work through those tools that way so we're going to just go back to um, our reflection tool and so there's different ways to use the reflection tool um, but the simplest and the easiest way is if we were going to go ahead and do this i would could, i would go ahead and i would select everything um, you can do control a on a Windows computer or Command A, and then in my um, reflection tool, if I find the point, uh, anchor point, and then I click, press Alt, and click, it will automatically, as you can see, bring up a dialog. Now, this dialog here um, allows me to manipulate it and horizontally manipulate it and stuff like that to be able to fit it in the way that I want. The logic here says that vertical is the way to go obviously and then preview because obviously I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Now we would say okay I'm gonna click OK here and it's going to do that. No. OK, we'll just go ahead and flip this over basically and you won't have this other circle. But if I click copy, it will duplicate it for me. Now, if I was trying to be symmetrical and I was trying to go ahead and um, I'm going to zoom in and show you what I mean and get rid of this here, if I wasn't using the charcoal tool, all I would have to do is control J or control or command J on a Mac and it would go ahead and join the points which I need to define the points so the points are going to be here and then I go ahead and I press command J and as you can see it joined them together um, down there and if I but if I was to be a little bit more precise, use maybe the pen tool to do this or whatever, and it had this right here or whatever, then I would obviously when I compress Command J, it would make it more better. But I just don't like that for this particular type of heart. Um, I hope that this video has helped you. Please check out the pen tool, the anchor tutorial. Um, what is an anchor point if you don't know or understand what that is? Because basically when I press Command J, it combined those anchor points. It combined the structure that I had created underneath. All right. 
Um, check out the website at www.blue-rootsmarketing.com. On Facebook, like us there at facebook.com slash blueroots.mm. I hope you create something.